Burlington is part of Halton region, which includes Burlington, Oakville, Halton Hills, and Milton. Right now, Halton is 550,000 people, and Halton will be growing to about a million people in the next 24 years. Uh, we grew about 4.9%, about 5% in the last five years between 2011 and, and uh, 2016. Recognizing that we do not have a specific target yet for 2041. All we have is the regional target, which is 550,000 to go to a million people. Uh, in 2019, Oakville, Burlington, uh, Milton, and Halton Hills, uh, the councils are going to be get, getting together at the regional level and discussing how we divide up those growth numbers. It will be a fascinating discussion a couple weeks ago with regard to developing some policy around affordable housing for seniors, as well as looking at something specifically we can attack, which is the ability for secondary suites in people's homes. There is the ability right now in certain areas of the city where as long as you submit to the proper uh, requirements of the building code and you have separate entrances and so on and so forth, that you can actually rent out your basement, for example, uh, to a younger person or an older person. And there can be many benefits from income to the person who owns the home, as well as uh, some connectivity or some more affordable real estate for someone younger or older and some social connectivity for maybe two older people. So that's something we, we really want to uh, look at our policy and see how we can improve the uptake in that as well. It's a big subject and I haven't answered it completely, um, but we've got a lot uh -huh. to do. Um, we need to figure out a way that we can make it desirable for younger families to live in sort of non-traditional family housing. What I mean by that is some mid-rise development or some low-rise development, uh, development with, a, with a number of condos. We believe we can do that if we build the amenities in the area. And, and connect with people and ask them what they need in order to satisfy their desire to raise their family in a more urban uh, situation. Um, that's an opportunity for us. No, ab absolutely. Uh, you know, some of the buildings that are being constructed actually include some amenity space for the people that live there. But I think we need to go above and beyond that. And we need to, with our, the work of our mobility hub analysis and studies that are going now around the three GO stations uh, in particular, um, we have to consider public amenity space and what that looks like. And it may not be, you know, traditional, it may not be traditional, but we need to have recreational space and, and public amenity space uh, to create that feeling of neighborhood uh, that we have in some of our more mature neighborhoods. Uh, we, we, there's work is undergoing on that as well. Do you see the need for some new tools for the city to be able to do that? To mean to get some funding? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And land. Yes. Land is going to be a big problem. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we as I say, we, we have a lot of work to do on this, but we certainly need to look at the funding source and see how we can uh, generate the funds to purchase the amenity space because in a lot of the areas I'm referencing, that area is privately owned now. So we need to figure out a way uh, to acquire it in an economical way um, that can create these true family neighborhoods. Another opportunity for us we have is with regard to rental accommodation. We do not have a re enough rental accommodation in our city. We have a very limited amount and the uh, actual vacancy rate is very low uh, in the city. One opportunity that we have um, that is public but hasn't been that public yet is the fact that the British Columbia Pension Corporation owns 20 acres of land which is the Georgian Court Estates where there's 280 townhouse units right now. Uh, that they will be submitting, and they may have already just submitted, a development application for 1,450 units on that particular site, which will be all rentals, and we need rentals. Not sure what, how that's going to end up, but we do need rental accommodation in a big way, and we've got to take advantage of opportunity when it comes our way. Compact, mixed-use, walkable communities where you have access to hardware stores and drug stores and pubs and cafes and beer stores and liquor stores and so on and so forth right in immediate area of our ghost stations. And if done right, if done right, the actual impact on the environment is much less than traditional suburban development because the greenhouse gas emissions from burning less energy because you, you, you can walk or cycle places more as far as the goods and services you need and transit right, is right up your doorstep. Uh, the need for the traditional automobile uh, won't be there.